Wait, before the video begins, be sure to drop a like and a sub down below, otherwise this guy will be door camping you the entire way. Yo guys and welcome to another video on my channel today, hopping straight into yet another Rust base building video. Now today's base build video, we're going to look at our old base design, which is the efficient bunker base that I uploaded about two weeks ago. I got a comment on it saying there was quite a few flaws with it, well not really mega flaws but like little tiny imperfections that I could upgrade and make better. So that's what I'm doing in today's base which is the efficient bunker base V2. The things I've upgraded in this base is the cost, I've made it so the shooting floor does a full 360 degree view of the base, I've made it so the core of the base is more efficient storing more things like loot boxes and stuff like that versus more miscellaneous items and the workbenches and furnaces are moved out of the core. Also on the roof, I've made an indent in the roof for a helipad. This way, if you land the heli on the roof and someone's on the ground floor, it's less likely for them to see there's a heli on your roof since it's in a half or indent helipad area. Now, moving on to the cost of the base, as you can see right here, it's really not too expensive. From the last base, I've managed to half the high call on the resources needed and the upkeep, as well as remove about 5k stones on the resources needed and about 1k off the 1k stones in the upkeep. When it comes to metal frags, I've probably added around like 2 or 3k metal frags, which is obviously ups the upkeep of metal frags on this base design a little bit, but it's worth it since it makes a stronger core in general. Once again, this base is around 19 rockets to raid to get to the TC, not getting all the loot rooms or anything like that. If they go and drill straight to the TC, 19 rockets. So obviously that's unlikely for them to get straight to the TC, but that's the exact cost if they do so. But anyway, let's not waste any more time and just get straight into the walkthrough of the efficient bunker base V2. Coming through the front door of the base is the normal airlock with the two shot fronts, shotgun trap, double sheet metal door. Coming through the next door, we're greeted by a triangle ladder hatch. Going up here, this gets you straight onto the shooting floor already. As you can see, I've surrounded it in one reinforced glass window and then one embrasure. You can mix this up how you want to. Also on this floor, I have a large box, research table and repair bench to save room down in the core. Now coming through this door, as you can see, this goes straight down into the core. Shotgun trap over here to defend the ladder hatch. Coming over here, level two workbench, level three workbench, four furnaces. And then coming into the core, as you can see, there's lockers, furnaces, large boxes, shotgun traps, loot rooms, garage doors open to save time, as well as bags on the floor. And then obviously the TC room with the furnace and campfire inside of it. Also, I have the roof to show you later on. However, I wanted to leave that till later since I wanted to explain it more in detail while I'm going throughout the build. Okay, so obviously we're gonna start off with the core of the base and this triangle foundation here with two four walls and a roof on top. Once you've placed them, upgrade them to armored as soon as possible since this will be your TC room. So obviously put your TC in the back corner like I'm doing. Then in front of that, we're going to place a campfire and a furnace. Now the campfire placement is super easy to do since there's loads of room for it. The furnace placement is a bit more difficult and potentially block the wall that I'm trying to place right here, which is the window frame. So just wiggle it around a bit and if the TC is far enough back, it'll fit quite easily. Now since we don't need to go in the TC room anymore, I'm sealing it off with the reinforced glass. Then build off the foundation that we've just built with two more triangle foundations and surround that in square foundations coming off each triangle foundation. Then coming off over here, we're gonna place one low triangle foundation, a high one on the left and a high one on the right. And then going around the square foundations, we're gonna add four walls all the way around. Then once you get to the raised triangle foundations, add a half wall here, then add a half wall here at the entrance, half wall above, remove the lower one. Then obviously we're just gonna add a ceiling to the entire thing. Also in here, we're gonna place these two half walls to make our loot rooms. So just place the half wall, add the shelf, remove the half wall on both square loot rooms. Also, we're gonna add the double door frames ready for garage doors later on. Also, we're finally gonna finish off the core by upgrading this triangle foundation and triangle floor tile to high quality metal. 
Okay, now with the main core of the base, we're obviously going to be placing the garage doors down. Now, other than that, it's up to you how you place your loot, since obviously everyone likes to have their boxes and everything placed differently. Now, with me in one loot room, I managed to get four large boxes as well as six small boxes. And in the other room, I managed to get six large boxes. Also, three or four sleeping bags on the floor, depending on if you want to remove a campfire or small box, as well as a large box and a locker by the entrance of the core with a shotgun trap above it. Now, obviously, you can move this stuff around, add more large boxes compared to small boxes, add small boxes compared to large boxes, and you can cram so many more small boxes and campfires, barbecues and everything like that in here. But if you follow the way I laid it out, I feel like that's the smoothest way to have it for like a three or a four man, since you don't want to be super cramped all the time, and it's super easy to move around with the way I designed it and the way I placed all the loot. Now going around the entire core of the base, we're gonna add a layer of stone honeycomb in. So just add one layer of stone honeycomb in all the way around. Wherever you can place triangles, place triangles. Wherever you have to place a square, place a square. But basically surround the entire base apart from the two triangles raised at the bunker entrance. Don't touch it around that area just yet. Also, once you've done the outer honeycomb in, obviously you can add a half wall layer on the roof, so go ahead and do that also. Now coming just outside the core of the base with the raised foundations, we're gonna place this low square foundation as well as these two low triangle foundations. Then with the triangle foundations, we're gonna fully seal them off since they're just honeycombs. Add four walls, floor tiles, and the half wall on top of the raised foundation to fully seal it off. Now when it comes to the square area, we're just gonna add four walls and a ceiling on top. And where there is this free triangle gap, we're gonna add one triangle floor frame as well as two triangle floor tiles to seal that off. Obviously on the triangle floor frame, we're gonna be putting a ladder hatch into it. Now when placing the ladder hatch, it can actually be a little bit buggy at the moment since it's just come out. So you actually have to remove the shotgun trap and the furnace from down in the core because for some reason they get in the way of you placing it. But once those are removed, place the ladder hatch and then you can replace those items. Hopefully that'll be fixed soon because that's a bit of an annoying bug. And then above the ladder hatch, we're just gonna place two single sheet metal doors and obviously surround them in walls to make sure they're honeycombed and like secure, just for an automatic airlock above your ladder hatch if you've already got to this far in the build process and you wanna start using it at this level. Now just outside of the bunker entrance is where we're gonna have our level three, level two and four furnaces. So you can place the level three against the back wall, level two to the left wall. Make sure they're super close since these four furnaces are actually quite hard to place. 
It might take some moving around or replacement, but as long as the workbenches are against the wall, you can definitely place all four furnaces here, as you can see I'm doing. And then finally, under the ladder hatch, we're gonna place a shotgun trap. So if anyone goes deep on that area, they obviously can't climb down really easily. On to building our front entrance. Now start off by placing this triangle floor tile and then below that you can sort of design it how you want depending on what bush is around the area. If you can copy me and this will work for where you're built slash where you're designing your base, then feel free to do so. But I use two shop fronts, a single sheet metal door to get to the ladder hatch, as well as a double sheet metal door to get into the obviously a front entrance room where you can look out the two shop fronts. But as I've mentioned, if there's things like bushes, rocks and everything like that, you might want to move your door to another place and your shop fronts to another place if you can't even see out them due to a bush being in the way or something. Now onto building the shooting floor, what you want to do is go around the entirety of the base adding triangle floor tiles mostly. If you need to put square floor tiles, then obviously you need to but make it so you can go all the way around the outside of your base on this level so it's a full 360 degree view. Then once you've done that, obviously you want to go around the entire base adding window frames all the way around the circumference of the base. Now when it comes to placing stuff on your window frames, it's up to you what you do. I like to use reinforced glass and then one type of embrasure, either horizontal or vertical. Whatever I have at the time is usually what I use, but reinforced glass is really nice to look through. So obviously if you can see if anyone's there without being shot at straight away. Now right here where this triangle gap is on your shooting floor, we're going to place a floor tile, a double door frame and a garage door on it. And then if you go up in that area we just built up into, add half walls all the way around. And then add floor tiles to your entire shooting floor, not the center circle area, but the shooting floor area. Now this little dip in the roof is designed for two reasons. One, so if you want to go to your roof through the garage door, you don't instantly get shot at and you've got some sort of cover in the center to hide behind. If you're trying to get off your roof, leave to do something and you don't know someone's there ready to shoot you. Also second, it's designed so you can land your heli in it. And if you're on the ground floor, you won't be able to see the mini helicopter in the little gap. This is great because you don't have to make like a secure plan to like secure your heli and then you have to like drive it out every time because that really annoys me having to do that. So I just like to land my heli on my roof and this way people won't see it unless you're actually landing it. And it's nice to not have people ladder to your roof to nick your heli every time you get one since all the clans take them all the time. Now just finishing off the base with some final touches such as placing the repair bench, research table and large box on the shooting floor as well as going around the base placing some shotgun traps just below the roof access and at the front door. And I hope you do like the design. As you know, you can easily expand this base. That's how I designed it to do so. So obviously over the overhangs of the shooting floor, underneath that, you can add honeycomb to make the base more secure, as well as upgrade to sheet metal if you want to. Also where there's a helipad, you could actually change that into like a loot room slash gearing up room. So you could put lockers in there, beds in there, as well as add another shooting floor above the current shooting floor with like slanted roofs and everything like that to expand the base and make it more agile and designed to your liking. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you for my future ones and peace out.